Hello travelers, Todd and Michelle here, we're traveling around Disney and we have just spent a fantastic weekend with the kids at St. Augustine at the Embassy Suites St. Augustine Beach location. So come along and let's see what we did for the weekend. You can tell I don't look my best because I think I might have caught something. While she got a little cold along the way. around Bucky's. I don't think anybody else got sick. It was just I, me. I don't know. Sabine got a little cinnamon allergy, but um, Michelle got a little <laughs> sick. So now we got to get her home. <laughs> but what, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> so join us on our adventures and um, let's see what St. Augustine and the Embassy Suites had to offer us. <laughs> So here at the Embassy Suites in St. Augustine, they got a little grab and go right over here that you can grab all your good little stuff, take it up to your room. And they got bottles of wine right over this way. This is the absolutely gorgeous lobby right here. They got a Starbucks in the lobby, which is fantastic. That is A1A out there. A1A, A1A, yeah, there we go. And then this is the beautiful lobby as you enter in overlooks the pool and of course since this is an embassy suites they have a manager's um, get together from 6 to 6 30 so we're going to go see what they got but this is an absolutely gorgeous hotel that Sabi and Caitlin recommended also in the lobby they have a business center but I don't know how much work I could get done when you have a view of the ocean like that the beach the ocean yeah I'm not sure how much I could get done Loving the interiors, the modern, love this waterfall, tile, it's gorgeous. And then you come around here, and that'll take you to the elevators. We're on the second floor. We even have a sea glass mercantile right off the lobby, 9 to 5 daily. <gasps> Starbucks is closed. No. Why is Starbucks closed? Why? But we'll get something in the morning. And then we come this way. Wait. We'll go this way. Oh, the rum bar and the Harvest and Real. This is a little restaurant in here. Well, how about that? Didn't know all this existed. Here's the selection of cocktails tonight for the um, manager's reception from 5 to 6.30. Two drinks per guest, by the way. So if you got two people like me that don't drink, they can get two also. Even have a little Coutremont bar. Look here. Get a little hummus. Hummus and pita right here. I'm going for this. Unfortunately, the beach is still a little closed. They are doing the restoration of the beach. But we have a beautiful view. And even though I've spent most of my life in Florida, I do not like salt water and I do not like sand. And my toes. I'm just one of those weird Floridians. I love the pool that overlooks the beach. And that's what we have. But fantastic. We're right here by the pier here in St. Augustine Beach. And there's actually a wedding going on right over there. So we are out here at sunset, which will be behind us because, of course, that is east. And behind us is west. Now this is the back side right here and I do apologize for any wind noise because we are at the ocean. It's always windy. But that is the pool but right now it is about 68 degrees so not too many people plus it's early in the evening about 6.30. We're getting ready to head down to Old St. Augustine to have some dinner but we're actually right over there. That is ours and we got a beautiful view of the ocean right there. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, Sabi found a menu for the pool bar. <laughs> so we have this right here. Not that we'll be um, getting any libations. I forgot Katie doesn't like the word libations. But we got some shareables and some foods right there. This is a great location. This is actually Sabi's and Caitlin's suggestion. And we were, I'm not going to lie, we were a little apprehensive because we never really stayed up in this area. 
It's absolutely gorgeous. And once this beach is done, you can see how high the sand is going to be. You can see everybody walking down there in the cliff area. But the sand's going to be up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Embassy Suites is really trying to go after the um, wedding, honeymoon, all-in-one venue. This is their um, wedding pavilion that these folks got married in over here. It's right off the pool. But they have the chairs and everything. Absolutely wonderful. Out here at the yard and the chessboard and everything. And right up there, there's our room right there. Yeah, can you see me waving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but again, you're right there. Uh, no, that's not ours, yeah, right? It's no, it's right there. No, it's not. It ours. is. It's right there. <laughs> no, it's that's right, our room right there. It's right there. Where? Yes. That one. No, it's no. right next to the. No. Oh, yeah, it's that's that one. Sweet. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's that one. <laughs> that one right yeah, there. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm waving from the window. <laughs> but that is our view right there. Looking straight out to the ocean and the pool. We've made it to the old streets of St. Augustine. We're going to a little, another little place that um, Sabi and um, Caitlin have recommended. A little Spanish Mexican restaurant right down this way, I think. I, I always love this place because there's so many like hidden little gems. I think you could spend a year up in St. Augustine and not eat at all the restaurants. There's just stuff everywhere. Is this Columbia? Oh. Look at that. Columbia. You know we love us some Columbia, especially the one in Celebration. We may have to come back here one day and try this one. I think there's seven in the state of Florida. So maybe we need to do a Columbia to where we go to every Columbia restaurant. But that is Columbia right there. Maybe next time. There's like 24 shops in here. I think we're going to go in here. More of the main city street down that way. Katie said this pizza time is supposed to be the pizza of all pizzas. Not sure about that. Right there. They look good. I don't know. I don't know. Those are some good looking pizzas. So of course you know my wife has to go into this shop because we're going to go look at some chocolates. But I'm going to look at some apples. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. Now what Sabi doesn't know is that Michelle's dad used to have a train in his shop that went around the roof of his shop. Yeah, quarter scale. Yep. But this is Kilwins at St. Augustine. And that is their yeah. Yeah. chocolate s'mores right there. That is their fudge right down there. But we already got our fudge from Bookies. I couldn't do that with our chocolate. It would be so expensive. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the caramel up there. Right there. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. But here at Kill Wednesday, buy, buy two slices of fudge, get one free. But you know, if you come to, I get my finger out of the way. If you come to Celebration uh, near Disney, there's a Kill Wednesday also. Let's see what we are. Dr. Peck House. Right up here. They must be having a special occasion right there. The stone walls of this building date from before 1750. That is unbelievable. So full of history. A lot to see here. We are definitely coming back tomorrow to um, see some other stuff. Okay, and we have found our location. They do not take reservations. It's so a first come, first serve walk up. And Katie and Sabi really like it here. So we're going to give this a try. Okay, this place is fantastic. Going upstairs, they have a bar, they had outdoor seating. It is a little cool tonight. So we are going up the bar, up the stairs. Oh my gosh, they even got a third level. 
I'm good. We're going up second level. That's fantastic. Right over here we go. This is a beef short rib taquito. Okay, there we go. Chicken enchiladas and some beef chimichanga right there. This looks fantastic and smells wonderful. Cannot wait to give this a try. Okay, love the artwork, this whole place, but the food was fantastic. So if you're ever in um, St. Augustine, you might want to give this place a try. And here's the benefit of staying at the Embassy Suite here in St. Augustine Beach. It is breakfast time and they serve from like 7 to 10. So you got a plenty of time to come down here and get some breakfast. Okay, we got our breakfast. Of course, omelet station, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, fruit cup. This resort has some beautiful outside areas, this beautiful terrace. There's the rooms right there, right off of the terrace. They got fire pits for at night, so when you want to come out here and just relax. And then right over here, they have more sitting area. Uh, the kids dared me to get up into the red chair, so that may have to happen at some time. You'll see that boat way off in the distance of that ship. They are actually blowing the sand up to do the beach restoration. And that's where they pump it out from all the way. And if you can see right down in the between these two palm trees right here, you'll see the sand just being blasted onto the beach right there. We're going to hopefully get down there. But they are keeping us some distance away from the beach, so there is no beach access today for us. I have to say, their pool is huge. Not many people out, so I'm going to take some pictures real quick. But we're heading over there. I want to go see this beach restoration. But it's a walk-in down there. Our stairs at this end. Very nice. Four feet. Standard pool depth now. Here in Florida, seems to be. Okay, so there's the ship. It pumps the sand up here, and then the bulldozers move everything around. Never seen one of these before. This is pretty cool. But if you look off into the distance, way over there, you'll see all the sailboats. They're having a regatta or something out there. I forget how just what all Florida has to offer. And we get all stuck sometimes. I'm always Disney, Disney. But then you come out and you see different stuff. So I think we're going to be doing a little more traveling, guys. See different stuff like this. And just to explore different stuff in Florida. But look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see what this beach is going to look like the next time we come in this area. So that's how they do it. You'll see these um, slurry coming up there. And then these guys are pushing it in here. Water just goes right back out. So that's, you know, no damage there. Got other equipment right here. But this is the only part of the beach that is actually closed right now unfortunately behind our embassy suites but you can see right down there way down in the distance there is um, some beach down there open that embassy suites actually is getting shuttles to take the guests down to the beach so they still have beach access which I think is nice so I guess they're gonna be working this way I'm not really sure how they're going um, this was supposed to be done but they were a little bit behind schedule so that's why we don't get beach access today, but we're going to Old Town anyway. So we, uh, like I said before, not a big beach person. Don't hold that against me even though I live in Florida. But you can just smell that salt air. I love the smell of it. I love seeing it, hearing it. I just hate sand. Don't, don't ask me why. So this is my view, well, this is y'all's view. I'm sitting in the big red chair. The family's down there's there. the family we just had breakfast Michelle's <laughs> filming the behind the scenes but look at this hotel it's absolutely beautiful but now we're going to the fort because Sabi has never been to the fort he comes to St. Augustine all the time Katie never take him to the fort oh it says climb at your own wrist yep climbing at my own wrist this is all for you guys Should I take the kid in the there you go no no curse words remember this is family channel Sabi's a little scared of heights up there. He's afraid oh, well, he's going to fall. Like yeah. Looks like you're going to save somebody. All hell. <laughs> All hell. That's Sabi. <laughs>
made our way to the St. Augustine Visitor Center information. Trolley pickup is right over there. That is an additional cost. But there is a star van right over here that will take you to the other side where the cathedral and everything is. But this is the Welcome Center. It's pretty neat that the Visitor Center, this is the building it's always been, is a Visitor Center since 1935, which is pretty amazing that a building gets to stay the same as always. But the other thing we noticed was the beautiful city scene. Governor's house, the plaza, all the good stuff is right here. And a mural that is on the sidewalk. So this is the visitor center and here is the map of the St. Augustine Visitor Center. Of course remember it's Spanish and that's what it was founded by with the Spanish because that was a Spanish fort right there. But I've never been in here. I'm, I we really as Floridians have never really come a lot to St. Augustine. And even in St. Augustine they have a penny press. So for you penny press collectors when you come to the visitor center you can also get your tickets for the jump on jump off trolley that's one of those that you find something you want to see you jump off take a look at it and then jump on with the next trolley stop but this is more of the um, gift shop over here and just stuff everywhere i've been having a great time with the kids that's some great information to know that you know as a local floridian we should know these things but we don't I should come up here more often. I know I said that already. But they got all kinds of artifacts and stuff that they've found in the ocean. I know the boats were bigger than that. They had to have been bigger than that. There is no way I would have got on that to sail across. The... Well, then again, you didn't know what you are really sailing across. Because you didn't know where the end was. That's pretty adventurous. Pretty adventurous. Okay, that looks like more. There's a model of what one looks like. So actually, this is the replica of a, one of the ships. And it was a Spanish caravel. It was a fast and easily maneuver vessel. So that makes up for the size. Now it makes sense. But this is supposed to be a replica. Still, I don't know. You don't know where you're going. And then you get into... The ship and say hey let's go this way the visitor center is actually right next to the oldest cemetery which is right over here which we'll take a look at some of the stuff in there of course it's fenced off you can't get in there and then right over here across the road will be the Spanish fort which we are heading to so that means this is the starting point for Florida and then if you go to San Diego, is there another one? Probably, yeah. Is there a stopping point? Say, ah, oh, you well, reached the stopping to see point. What the well, Spanish trail is. Points along the way. That is yeah. true. That is true. Old Spanish trail. Old Spanish trail. So let's begin our walk to San Diego. Yeah, Not so. at the public burying grounds. Not barrel grounds, burying grounds. That's what they call it. And that is it right there. So is this the oldest cemetery? The newest cemetery? What cemetery is this? It's 1821, so it's pretty old. And here we go, we got the old city gates right here. Safe Haven gates. Right there. And that's a little bit of information. If you guys wanna zoom in on that. But those are old. So we okay. discovered right here, the gate was a 1739, so this is the gate, and then the pillars were added in 1808, so they could see into the distance of any oncomers, because they actually had guards at the gate that would stand here and let the passers through, if there was no ill will. And then they would let them into the city center, which is really amazing. What do we say, 1780? 
That's a long time ago. 1739. Good God. That's old. It's almost as old as me. So we're taking down, we're walking down the street here because we want to go to the oldest school in America. Right over here. Still hard to believe that this still has been preserved. I'm sure, you know, it's been rebuilt, maybe moved or so, but they still got the, everything's here. This is the world, or the, not the world. This is the United States oldest, the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the United States at St. Augustine, Florida. And that is right it, right there. And look, there's somebody living right up there. That's it. They've got a chain around it, I yeah. guess, to hold it to the ground. But it is leaning a little bit. Okay, so fun fact. Fun fact. Give us a fun fact, Katie. This is not the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse is behind. You have to pay to see it. Oh. That's the entrance. It says this is the entrance. House entrance. But this is not the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse oh. is behind. So technically, I've never seen the oldest schoolhouse Correct. in America because I've never paid to get behind. They are gatekeeping right over there. <laughs> okay. Well, not today. But you know what? We'll go with this. There's something I may want to go to discover. The Fountain of Youth, which is also in St. Augustine. We're actually heading up to the fort. You can see um, St. Augustine, the old city streets behind me. But um, if I'm not mistaken, you're not allowed to film uh, at the port or in the port because it's a part of a national, um, national park services. And if I'm not mistaken, which we got to clarify, you're not allowed to film in national parks for a monetary gain, which we're not really doing it for monetary gain on YouTube, but you do make money at YouTube. So you can do it for personal, but you cannot put it up on YouTube if there's a monetary gain, which I can understand. So we're going to go into the fort. We will show you this um, and under construction in 1672, 1672, they started building the fort. So that's pretty amazing. I got to get the clarification on this um national park recording okay so we got a little clarification here on the old filming at the park still in st augustine here and it says the national park service is now requiring permits that could cost hundreds of dollars for filming in national parks including the 11 parks across florida and more than 400 other acre um and 400 others across the um, country so yes that is correct if you're going to film in a national park, you got to have a permit so you can put it on YouTube. If it's for your personal use, you do not. I, you know what? I just make sure. But for personal use, I don't believe you need to. But if you're going to show any content on your YouTube page or anywhere for a national park, you have got to have a permit from the National Park Services. We'll have to say the fort had the best um, guard because if you notice the house is over there and the house is over there but that's the inlet right there so the fort faced the inlet so they always seen the enemy coming but that's the inlet right there I could see why you would choose this spot on a journey to make settlement uh oh here comes a cruise boat we could have got a cruise boat for a round the Victoria 3 coming by. We could have rode that and seen all the good stuff. Didn't know they did scenic cruises at 11, 1, 245, and 430 right there all around St. Augustine Waterways. And this is tourism in Florida at its finest right here. It's always going to be nice and busy on the roads, everybody walking. Tourism's everywhere in Florida. You're not going to get away from it. You're not going to say, oh, don't go to Disney because there's too many people. Same way in St. Augustine. It's just in a smaller scale, but it's in a smaller area. So just come and enjoy. That's all we can ask. Come and enjoy. Okay, Katie found another place for us to eat. They've eaten here before. It's called Nero's. That's pretty banging really neat and you can actually go out the back side to go to the streets back there so there's actually another entry but you got to go to the front to get seated okay so i got the french toast here sabi so what'd you get fiery sand fiery chicken sand yeah you can tell look at the jalapenos on there 
Katie got the hash right there, which looks wonderful. And Michelle got the the Saratoga Club, which and it's I didn't got even just about everything in it. Ham, I didn't even turkey, see this on the menu. Bacon, and then a pasta salad. Also. That looks good. Looks really good. And we are going to give this a try. And now this place serves breakfast all day till three. Three and lunch and till then three. It, Lunch till three, and then it turns into a martini bar. Teeny martini bar. <laughs> so, travelers, Say, travelers, we, we run into Pirate Todd. You put your face all the way in there, like back <laughs> up a little. No, back up. Oh, there. And then go oh. up. There you go. All right, you're live. <laughs> <laughs> the travelers are waiting for you to say something. Here, wait, wait, wait. We need the whole body shot. Later. Yeah. We <laughs> need the. This is the fittest I've ever done. <laughs> do you know who that is? I'm not sure I do. <laughs> okay, exploring more of the St. Augustine historical streets. Found some ice cream here at Teddy's right here. Looks really good. Ladies are sampling it right here. Milkshake bar and all this good stuff right here. You can even find dull soft swirl, swirl right there. You guys scared me with the music. They have it here at the original Lick It ice cream. Dull soft serve right there. They even advertise it. So this will be dinner here on our final night in St. Augustine. Um, Katie and Sabia have eaten here before and they love it so they wanted to bring us back here for our last night. And it's right beside the St. Augustine Shipwreck Museum and Gallery right there. Maybe next time we'll come see this. There is live music all over this city. It is a Saturday night and it's starting to come alive. What's warm pita and dill? Go ahead. What do you think of that? I don't eat smoked salmon so. Here's the menu we're trying to determine. Um, by the way, there's the wall right there. There's Katie and Michelle over there. And the band playing is right across the way on the hall, on another bar. There's places everywhere here that have live music. But the menu looks fantastic. And we just found out why it's called Catch 27. And that is right here in the heart of historic St. Augustine, Florida. Catch 27 believes in preparing and serving fresh, locally caught seafood from the nation's 27th state. And today's seafood is mahi mahi, which was caught this morning. Okay, I got the snuffleupagus. You gonna you gonna put it on there, Katie? Michelle got a ruby fizz. And what did you get, Katie? Uh, Paradise punch. Paradise punch, right there. And these are all non-alcoholic. So these are ten dollars here, which. That snuffleupagus looks really good. Because from down doesn't look good. Okay. okay, ready? Let's give these a try. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. To a great, great weekend. Oh. This is a salmon dip with pita and jalapenos. And this is a bacon wrapped date. With, I think it's filled with brie cheese. With brie cheese, and there's a blue cheese and balsamic drizzle. Is it devil or no, they didn't get the double. When you're ready. Catch for. This is catch for blanc with the fresh catch of mahi mahi. Okay. I've got the blackened kale pesto with the mahi mahi. Same as you. Catch for blanc, mahi mahi, roasted potatoes, broccoli, substitute green, green beans for broccoli. broccoli. And I have the grilled shrimp with grits, but they're a grit cake. And then it's got braised or uh, some collard, collard braised greens. Collard, collards. Collard greens with there. With a um, uh, sherry fried reduction. pepper jelly and then a sherry reduction. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's pretty in depth. Um, and if anybody noticed on my plate right there, we're keeping it Disney style with the broccolini. With the broccolini right there. I got this dish because Caitlin and Sabi said these sweet potatoes were absolutely fantastic. Still cheaper than. Okay, we just had a fantastic dinner. What is this place called? Catch 27. 27. Catch 27. If you're ever in St. Augustine and you want some fine Must dining, do. 
This is a must-do at Catch-27. Almost forgot to give you a room tour. So we're ready to go. Leaving for the weekend. And we, we had a fantastic time with the kids. But this is the living room portion of this Embassy Suites. So that pulls out to a bed. Of course, they got a table. Plugs everywhere. They got a closet there. And then, of course, the restroom's in here. Right there. And then they got a little kitchenette thing. Katie had to get her Stanley there. We got all our trash. We like to put it all together so somebody doesn't have to worry about it. Then you come here. Sorry about the unmade beds, but there are two queen beds right here. A nice big TV here. And then you come out this way, and this is what you're really here for anyway. You open this right here. Let's see. Oh, they're still working on the beach. They were supposed to be done. We had a little snafu, and um, Hilton's taking care of a, some stuff for us, but um, the beach was supposed to be done three days ago, and they're still working on it. But that is them out there, but this was our pool view and our ocean view, so not a bad room. Okay, travelers, hope you enjoyed our little adventure here at St. Augustine and the Embassy Suites at St. Augustine Beach. As you can see, the beautiful beach behind us. We didn't get to experience it this time, but hopefully next time. And travelers, like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there.